Welcome back to Technique Quad. Today we're going to talk about conventional deadlifts and all the common errors associated with it. So we've talked about squatting and other deadlift variations and a lot of the, the technique points are very similar. Heels on the ground, vertical shin, knee over toe, um, neutral spine, shoulders back, everything in good alignment. So we've, we've really been hammering home those points. Today we're going to talk about um, some things that uh, can go wrong in very common errors that you'll see, especially when people are trying to pull max weight. So again, regular deadlift, I'm all the way close to the bar, especially if you're a person that has a short torso and longer limbs, like I do, you're going to be very close to the bar. I'm going to bend at the hip as far as I can, still keep a neutral spine. I'm going to bend my knees just a little bit until I am all the way down the weight. Shoulders back, drive through the heels, squeeze butt up top. I'm standing up and I'm not leaning back. From the side, again, from the side again, I'm all the way up to the bar, vertical shin, I push my hip back, I maintain a neutral spine as far as I can, and then I bend my knees all the way down to the bar. From here, I used to pull my shoulders back, neutral spine, I tuck my chin, vertical shin, squeeze my butt top and stand. Uh, common errors. Number one, not being close enough to the bar and squatting down to it, pushing my knees forward, and now I'm doing a squat as opposed to a deadlift. So if that's the case, again, just scoot forward, get that vertical shin, butt back, rather than knees forward. So it's not a squat, it's a deadlift. Point number two, even if I'm in good position, if the weight's heavy, if I'm here, the weight's heavy, and I start to pull, my butt will rise, and then maybe, maybe I'll pick it up, maybe I won't, but I never want to be into this position here, where I lose position, and then just use all hamstring and hip at the top. Okay, I want to keep that initial spine, and keep my butt down until I pass my knee and then my hips come forward. Obviously, rounding your back is another fault, very common, and often hand to hand with the last error is that my butt will pop up and my back will round at the same time, and then I'm pulling with a flex lumbar spine, and I'm looking to eventually get injured as a result. One more point. If I pick it up all the way and then I, I overextend at the top, I'm looking to get some type of hyperextension or spondylolisthesis type injury where due to hyperextension I'm, I'm tearing my back and I'm kind of kinking my back and as a result I'm, I'm bound to get some back pain eventually. Uh, other common errors, I got one more, oh, jerking the weight off the floor. We actually just had this happen, unfortunately. It hasn't happened I think since we've been open for four years and we've only had this happen one time, but it actually happened just recently. Someone was pulling 585 heavy deadlifts and they jerked the weight off the ground. And they had a bent elbow and they snapped into place like this. They're here, getting into position. They were bent and they jerked the weight off the ground and they tore their bicep right off the bone. Just a bicep tendon tear um, and they're going to have to have surgery as a result. So you want to always make sure that everything is. Everything is nice and tight, and then I squeeze the weight off the ground, and I never jerk my way into that into the start of the movement. So you're bound to get injury eventually, especially if you are trying to pull heavy weight like a one RM. So that is it for today. We'll see you tomorrow.